Hey Suvi, send an audio message. Who do you want to send it to? Andrew. Okay, recording. Hi Andy, how's the new puppy? Great. Hi, howdy, good day, namaste, and good afternoon. It's Tom here, and welcome back to Tom's Tech Reviews. And if you haven't already subscribed, I hope I can convince you to do so by the end of this video. So let's get Siri yes, because today I'm going to show you how to set up Siri on your iPhone to get the most out of it and also its cool new features that it has following Apple's iOS 14 update. The first thing I'm going to do is show you how to set it up. So if we go to settings and then if we search for Siri and search, here it is. Now you could also type in the searching settings and just type Siri. That's another way to find it. Now here we've got the basic settings for Siri. Now you've got several options. You can you can activate Siri by saying hey Siri or you can press on your home button or even a side button. It depends what model of phone you've got. Now I'm using an iPhone 8 and I've got the option to use my home button to activate it or to use the command hey Siri. So if I go out of settings. Now if I just press and hold the home button you get Siri and I can ask it a question like what's the weather? Weather for Birmingham and it gives me the weather for Birmingham. Latest news. How tall is Mount Everest? Yeah there's the answer there. Now because I'm activating Siri with my home button it won't give me the answers verbally, it will just give it by notifications. So now let's get back to settings and enable Siri to be activated by my voice. So we go to Siri and search and then we just enable that. Here I need to respond to several questions so that Siri can understand my voice. And that's it done. Hey Siri. How do you make cheesecake? Okay, I found this on the web for how do you make cheesecake. Check it out. There you go, gives it some good examples here. I'm not a massive fan of cheesecake, I prefer apple pie actually. Hey Siri, who was the first president of America? George Washington was an American political leader, military general, state. And if you want to stop it talking, just tap it like that. These are just a small selection of commands that Siri can perform and I'll add a more extensive list of commands on my website shortly and I'll add a link to that in the description below. Now Siri's knowledge base has improved significantly over the last few years and you'll find that it's capable of answering almost all of your questions now. And almost all of Apple's devices now support Siri including Apple's new HomePod Mini, which has just been launched and available to order soon. And as soon as I can get my hands on one and do a review on it, I'll post a link again in the description below. One of the new features with Siri is the ability to send an audio message. So let's try that. Hey Siri, send an audio message. Who do you want to send it to? Andrew. Okay. Recording. Hi Andy, how's the new puppy? Great. Send it to Andrew. Now you can preview the message by playing that. Andy, how's the new puppy? Like that. But I'm not going to send it now, so I can just cancel. Okay, I won't send it. You've also got a feature to allow Siri to work when the phone is locked, like here, so I've got that enabled. Hello. Now, the reason for this coffee break is because I was getting quite a bit of skipping through my videos and we don't want this, Skippy the kangaroo. I'm not kangaroo phobic or anything. Now is a great time to ask any questions. If you've got any questions so far in the video, please let me know in the comment section below. And let's get started to part two of this video, which is even more interesting than part one. As well as opening your favourite apps, 
Siri can control functions within those apps, so making your iPhone completely hands-free. And I'll show you some examples of that now. But I'll mute the Hey Siri part of the audio, as you're probably bored of hearing that by now. Get directions using Google Maps. Where would you like to go? Stratford-upon-Avon. Getting directions to Stratford-upon-Avon using Google Maps. Make a note. What do you want it to say? Remind me to walk the dog. Okay, I created a note. Remind me to walk the dog. Send an email. To whom would you like to send this message? Translate. Sure, translate into which language? Arabic, German, Spanish, French. Play music. As you can see, Siri does a very good job of controlling your iPhone hands-free. But there is one downside to Siri, and that is that sometimes it doesn't quite understand your voice. But there is a way around that by using the Type to Siri option. Go back into settings and you can, if you go into, now you have to go into accessibility here. And then we go into uh, Siri here. And then here what we can do is we can type to Siri. So you can type what you want Siri to do. So if I can then go back and now I'll get Siri up. Hey Siri. News. Now they see that's that's what it's doing wrong, you see. But what you can do now is you can type what you want. So if, if it's not understanding your voice, you've got the option now to to type here soon news. Otherwise you could be there all day getting frustrated and he doesn't understand your voice. And if you press the home button as well, it comes up like that. So straight away it comes up and then you can type whatever you want. Well, I hope you've got a better understanding of Siri now. And if you want to check out some more really cool features from iOS 14, then please check out my video for that here. And uh, if this video has helped you out, please thumbs it up. And please also subscribe to be the first to watch my next tech reviews and guides coming really soon. Thanks for watching.